Um, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX gameplay trailer um, has been dropped on the air. Um, and it, uh, I haven't really explained my history with the re with the Mystery Dungeon games, but um, my basically my younger years was on the Game Boy um, color with uh, Pokemon Blue and Silver, and it, uh, um, then um, when I was a uh, when I was a little bit older, but not that much, I would have been about uh, ten. Yeah, I'd probably say you're a little bit younger than ten, maybe about eight years old. Um, I would have been, I would have been about when the DS, when I had my DS, and um, I was playing. Uh, and some of my favorite games on the DS were obviously, you know, Pokemon Diamond, Platinum, Pearl, Hard, Gold, and Soul Silver. But something that I loved uh, as much as those games were. Uh, Blue and Red Rescue Team, which I know Red was on the Game Boy Advance, and they're sort of considered that uh, uh, by some as Gen 3.5 because they came out long after Gen 3 had finished. But and the one of them was on the DS, but before Generation 4 came out, um, so they usually would get it as Gen 3.5 because they don't really neatly fit into either Gen generation. Um, and then uh, uh, of course, Explorers of Time, Darkness and Sky. And it, um, po uh, Pokemon Ranger, Ranger Guardian, uh, Guardians of Signs, and it, uh, Shadows of Alum. Um, those were just brilliant games. Um, so yeah, I've already but I've already pre-ordered um, Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX, and I am excited for it. Um, I believe it comes out on on the third of next month, which. Um, yeah, I will definitely be live streaming that. Um, probably just uh, a little bit. Actually, no, I already played it. So, mm, I don't know if I'll actually be able be doing any videos. I might do some videos on it, but um, that'll probably be something that I'll do at some other point. But I'm, I, I am definitely excited for this game. Um, so, let's look at this new gameplay trailer. My only problem with this is that the Pokemon models don't exactly look like they should be in the environment. Like, they look a bit off there, but it's still not jarringly off. Like, here it's fine, it's just mostly in that in those kind of cut scenes there. At the beginning, that it's kind of off. Uh... Ooh. Yeah, and it's showing you the um, some uh, some of the questions that you can uh, do in the personality test, and it uh, um, shows off some of the Pokemon, uh, all the Pokemon you can be in it. Um, and that was always my favourite part of the Mystery Dungeon games: is that um, you were uh, it was a Pokemon, and you t and then you got to pick your park and the Pokemon, um, and it, uh, yeah, it's showing this off. Um, I, so yeah, I've played the demo, so we're not seeing it. Oh yeah, that's that bit's new. That bit's new. Yeah, we are. Uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, Swinub. Oh, can you solve the mystery and save the world? Oh, I fear it's the world's destruction. I remember how this game ends. Oh, nine tails! Oh, a ground on! Oh. oh, that hits me right in the nostalgia. Oh. Like, um, I know these games aren't going to be for everybody, but if you like turn-based RPG gear kind of stuff and dungeon crawlers get Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX for sure and then maybe if we're lucky and maybe if the stars align they also do a HD port a HD remake of um, Explorers of Time, Darkness and Sky so it's probably just like uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers DX 
Um, because Explosive Time, Darkness and Sky has the best story of any Pokemon game ever. And it is, it le when I beat it for the first time, I, I le it legitimately made me cry. I actually planned on doing a Let's Play of uh, um, it using ROM, but um, the ROM, I had problems with the ROM saving, so that never became a thing, but yeah. And I was, I was, kind of, I was really gutted because, again, these games, they just deserve more love than they get. Like, um, Rescue Team, the Rescue Team games, they were brilliant, but not perfect, and uh, um, they were good, but nothing, they are nothing compared to the Explorers get Explorer games. The Explorer games are God-tier level games. Like, when uh, people ask me what, well, nobody asks me what my favourite generation is, because I'm not that important, but... If you ask me what my favourite generation is, it's always going to be Generation 4. And that's not even because of Diamond, Pearl, Platinum. Because while I love those games, I fully admit they're not the best Pokemon games ever. Hargold and Soul Silver, I adore Hargold and Soul Silver, and probably my favourite main series Pokemon games. But that's not why Pokemon will hold. Uh, the uh, pedestal as the best Pokemon generation of all time. Because when you're talking about Pokemon generation, you're not, you're not talking about just the main games and any uh, remakes or sequels that come along with it. You're also talking about the anime and uh, the uh, uh, spin-offs. And uh, the generation 4 had them down pat. Like, um, in the anime you actually saw um, Trick Room Dusk Noir. Like, actual stuff competitive Pokemon players would use. Um, and don't even take my word for it, the um, Silver League Network, when he did his top 5 pros and cons of each generation, he talked about how good the Gen 4 anime was. Um, and I don't know if he talked about the spin-offs, but the spin-offs are legitimately... The Gen 4 spin-offs are literally the best spin-offs of any generation. Um, because Gen 1 basically had, like, Pokemon Pinball and the and the card game video game, which is like, okay, they're cool, the video game, card game was more like, um, to introduce you to the card game kind of thing, so it wasn't groundbreaking, it was good enough to get a virtual console, console port, if I remember correctly, actually, um, and Pokemon Pinball is basically completely forgotten by everybody ever, um, apart from a few people. Uh, Generation 2, oh yeah, and we had the stadium games, which were a lot of fun, um, but still nothing compared to Gen 4 spin-offs. Um, uh, yeah, and Gen 3. Colosseum and the XD. Honestly, two of my favourite Pokemon games of all time. Nothing compared to the Gen 4 spin-offs. Like, um... Yeah, all of the Gen 4 spin-offs, I, I could be looking at these through rose-tinted glasses, I, I will fully admit that. But the Rager games, and the Explorer games, and the Mystery Dungeons, they were just... Um, so the Silver League Network described um, the main gen of Pokemon of Gen 4 as lightning in a bottle. And the, the spin-offs... Well, in them, in in and of themselves, our, our over should be overshadowing the main games because they are just they are just so much better. Like if you gave me a list of all the Gen Four games and I had to play them all through to hundred percent, um, you know, and I, and I could pick anyone I wanted, I would always start with the spin-offs. I would start probably start with Explorers, uh, um, Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team, then go on to the Explorers. Um, and believe me, Explore is hardest game I've ever beaten. Like, probably not played, because I, I've started playing a bit of Cuphead. Uh, well, the first uh, couple of stages, and that is hard. Um, but definitely the hardest game I've ever beaten. Um, you also had um, Pokemon Battle Revolution. Well, 
it did wreak a lot of laziness with like uh, still porting, still using like a, a lot of old models from um, Stadium uh, One and Two. Um, it's the new models do look good, and it, uh, um, if you have a good team, it's still a good battle simulate uh, battle battling game. It's better than um, uh, battling in the in the main games, um, but um, so you can so I probably play a bit of that. Um, after playing Diamond, after Rangers, and the da in between the, that and Rangers, I would pl definitely play the main game so I have a decent team to go in with it. But, but yeah, um, it's just like, I, it's the main reason why generate the spin offs are the main reason why Generation 4 holds such a special place in my heart. Because they were so good and so much fun. And uh, this is a second chance for them to gain uh, the credit they rightfully deserve. They right, they need, they should, I, I should argue that, I would argue that not only, um, not only will they come out on the Switch, but I argue they should come out on the Switch. Because when they were originally released, they, and even to this day, they don't really get that much recognition. And they need to come out again, and then people can just like, oh, never knew about that game. I might pick it up if it's a um, decent price. And then, um, or if there's nothing else around it, around that point. And then they play it, and they, and they, and then they experience the rich story, the characters. I, I can remember pretty much every, I, I don't, I don't want to say literally every character, uh, every main character in um, the in the Explorer series, but uh, there was um, Chatot, there there was um, Wigglytuff, there was uh, uh, Bidoof, there was a Sunflower, there was a a um, uh, Corfish, there was a Diglett, there was a Dog Trio, there was a Crow Gunk, there was a Chingling, um, and. Yeah, I think I'm missing a couple, but that that's just how much, you know, these games mean to me. That I haven't even looked at gameplay for them in months. Uh, heck, probably a couple, one or two years by then. And I think the last, last time I saw anything of the games was when uh, the last episode went up because I couldn't save the game. And uh, um, I can still remember... At least most of the characters, and then you also have Grove Isle and uh, um, Dusk Noir, who uh, who those two, like Dusk Noir had had the best twist I have ever seen. Like I legitimately did not see Dusk Noir's twist coming, and it's not like it was out of nowhere. Like you could argue that it, that uh, you really couldn't have. Uh, um, predicted it, um, but it's not like um, something they just uh, pulled out of their ass at the last minute. This was clearly, you know, something, uh, um, you know, that uh, you could, uh, you know, see. Like, so Groval came back in time to uh, cause the world's paralyzation, but there's very few Pokemon with the power to travel through time. Dialga, Celebi, and Celebi are pretty much the only ones. Um, and apparently, so, and so does uh, Darkrai. Darkrai apparently has the ability to travel through time and space. That's something a lot later on. That, that is something. Um, and um, so you could, I guess, like, but those two Pokemon would not want to cause the Will's paralysis. Heck, if anything, they'd want to prevent it. Um, also, spoiler alert, alert, Dialga was the one who you were sent, uh, sent it, uh, Dusk Noir back in time to make sure the will does become paralyzed, because when the will became paralyzed, Dialga became Primal Dialga before Primal Kyogre and the, the Primal Ground and whatever thing, and it, uh, he became evil, basically, and it, uh, then um, sent Dusk Noir back in time to make sure Grovile and, spoiler alert, you 
don't prevent the world's paralysis. And you find that out when you go back forward in time because you're dragged into a portal by Dusk Noir and then uh, it's all explained to you by Dusk Noir and the Dialga, basically what happened and all the pieces fall together. And then you go back in time with Broval to collect all the time gears and uh, you recruit the help of the guy and, uh, and uh, then, oh my god, like, th this is the part that I won't spoil it, but spoil because this is where, uh, af after this a bit, after you be Dialga, that is where the emotional punch to your gut ha hits you. And I, again, I legitimately cried at the end of the, of the main story of that game. And it was just so much fun. And again, that final boss with Dialga, I guarantee you, you will not be that on your first, uh, first go through unless you ultra gamer mode it and just be like, okay, so Dialga's Dragon Steel, I need to get, I need to make sure I, need, I get this one as myself and then I can get this other partner Pokemon to help me and then link these two moves and then ultimate che ultimately cheese Dialga out. You could probably do that, but if you're just playing for it, you know, casually and just having fun, Dialga will wreck you. Mercilessly. Again. And again. And again, and again, and again. I could not tell you how many times Dialga beat me. It was mm, difficult. And the most annoying thing about it is that there was this cutscene uh, where Dialga would roar and, just, and then your partner would go, Oh, we must be getting really close. And you had to go through that every time you got knocked out. Um, oh, and there's no saving in it. There's Well, there are bits where you can save, but it's only... It's either that, you know, certain checkpoints, and quick saving. And, yeah. That does not help. Because it's not like you can save just before you battle Dialga and then just cheese it through, just like, okay, um, just refining what you're doing. No. You have to go back to the to either your last save, or get knocked out, which is basically the same thing, except you get less XP if you go back to your last save. So it is difficult. Really, really difficult. So, yeah, anyway. Um, I think I've ranted and raved about this uh, um, for long enough, but yeah. I cannot wait for this game to come out. I, I think when this game does come out... I think you're not going to hear anything from me ever ever again because I'm just going to be spending the rest of my life playing this game. Because it's probably just going to be... It was my favourite part of Generation 4. I count it as Gen 4 because Gen 3 was basically dead and it was on the DS. So I'm counting it as close, more Gen 4 than Gen 3. Because it came out closer to Gen 4 than it did Gen 3. And it is sort of a mid in between generation. But it was my favourite part of Gen 4. Um, and it, uh, it's going to be my favourite part of Gen 8. Like, I, that's not to say I don't like um, Sword and Shield. Sword and Shield are brilliant games, and I love the fact that there's not going to be a third version, and it's just DLC, which I have bought. Um, but it's just this game is the most... If you... Ask, if you ask me what the, I thought the most underrated game would be, I would say explore the Explorer series. Explores the time, darkness, and sky. Because they're basically the same game, um, just with a few exclusives, um, and a little bit of ex and a little bit of different differing story um, at the end. But if you asked me what the second most underrated series was, or games were, that would be the Rescue. Team games, because they are honestly just some of the best games you will ever play. I again, I could be, I could be looking at this with very much rose tinted, uh, tinted glasses, but when I played the demo, I felt like I was a kid again, and I felt so much joy in my heart. Like th this is really cheesy for me to say, and I, and, and while I do like my uh, my stuff to be a bit cheesy. 
this just gave me the most, um, the largest amount of sincere joy I have had in a long time. And I mean a long time. Like, with every Pokemon game recently, I've had some sort of gripe of it. Gen 5, god awful story, uh, plot, you know, story for the first two games. The second two games I actually quite enjoy. Gen 6, Team Flare was uh, in. Uh, was not really that much of a threat, and the plot was a bit rushed. Um, all as the um, yeah, I can actually. I actually don't have that many complaints with all as. It's just like um, the battle um, chateau, you know, the whole battle island thing. I can't remember what it's called, but that was a bit of a pain in the ass, and I was actually uh, looking forward to. Going, uh, playing around on that because it did have some cool gimmicks and stuff, but I wa honestly wasn't too angry about it. Um, Sun and Moon, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, the plots were unbearable. Like, they're not as fundamentally flawed as Black and White, but they're just a slot, they're just a pain in the ass to get through. Um, and Sword and Shield. Well, I do agree that the dex cut is necessary. There are some Pokemon that... The part of me does wish that I could just have them all in one game. A part of me does wish I could do that. Um, because... And uh, there are some moves I did like, like Signal Beam, that I completely removed from it. Um... And, well, so that's, that's the current generation, but this, the Mystery Dungeon games and the Ranger games, while I have had problems with them, I've just, they just fill me with so much joy and happiness that the flaws with them, I've really not cared too much about, like, I've not really cared that much about the cut national dex cuts like in Sword and Shield. I've not cared too much about that. I really cared about Sword and Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon story and Black and White story even more. Um and I didn't care about Team Flare being um not really threatening at all. I didn't really care too much about that because I never really saw Team Rocket as a threat. Um, especially in Gen 2. Um, which again, Hagon and Soul Silver. Two of my favourite main series games ever, uh, of all time. But, yeah. These aren't, again, they aren't perfect. But when you're playing them, and you're just enjoying the story and the challenge that comes with the gameplay, they might as well be perfect. I mean, again, I have, my crit I have criticisms with this, like the... Uh, in the beginning cutscene, um, the poke and the cutscenes like that, they, the um, Pokemon don't really look like they should fit in the environment, but that's not really too much of a problem because during the main gameplay, that just completely goes goes away. That complaint says so just like, yeah, I, it's and it's not distracting me too much from the story. Um, so yeah, I, 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 again, I've been writing about this for too long, but I just. Love this so much, and I want to get through to you how much I love these games. Seriously, play them, please. I need my HD remakes of the Explorer series made into one game. So you go through the main story, then you get the post game of time, and then the post game of sky, and then the post game of darkness, or any mixture of the three. Just please. Make this successful so we can get remakes of the explosives. Because I need that more than anything ever.